night. It was a statue designed to honor the life and actions of a local World War II hero. Well, now this Grand Island project appears to be dead, and some people are wondering if political correctness killed it. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley is on the story you'll see only here on 7. Charles de Glopper is honored all over the world. He's honored in France, he's honored at, at military bases, but he's not honored properly right here in his hometown. Last year, the Niagara River Greenway Commission voted in support of a Grand Island request to allocate state money to help the development of the de Glopper Memorial Park at Baseline Road and Grand Island Boulevard. We went through the second round and we were told, great project. But when the recommendation went to the standing committee that allocates the money, it was completely turned down. So for us to hear that we didn't get one dollar was a huge disappointment. The expanded de Glopper Memorial was meant to honor Charles de Glopper, a Grand Island resident who received the Medal of Honor after he sacrificed his life fighting off the German army so de Glopper's fellow soldiers of the 82nd Airborne could escape on D-Day in World War II. Charlie's my uncle. Eugene. Dinsmore is also my uncle. The centerpiece of the new memorial is supposed to feature a statue of de Glopper holding his rifle in a firing position, similar to a memorial that is now in France. I, that's what he did, and, and he gave his life to, to what he did. But some are wondering if political correctness about guns killed the state funding. Upset is a very good word, uh, bordering on, on, on anger. That speculation is fueled by a letter that was written to the Buffalo News by Larry Behan, chairman of conservation for the Sierra Club, saying he would prefer a plaque and not a statue advertisement for Browning, Colt, and Ruger. That was a very terrible thing to say. This is a young man who used that gun, that Browning, to save lives. Minutes from a November meeting of the Niagara Relicensing Environmental Coalition also shows there was debate whether funding the statue would be appropriate considering recent societal events. The man died with a weapon in his hand. A statement from the committee that allocates the money said there were many worthwhile applications this year and difficult decisions had to be made in awarding of $2 million. But the committee provided no explanation of why the de Glopper Memorial Park was denied. Without the money, the project has now been set back, and organizers tell me they still need to raise another $450,000 to complete it. In Grand Island, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.